Hello everyone. Let's see how pamphlets and newspapers shaped the early modern world. So step into the realm of early modern times, a transformative period marked by the revolutionary innovations of Johannes Gutenberg and the resounding impact of the printed word. Join me as we unravel the intricate web of communication during this era where pamphlets, newspapers and powerful debates shaped the course of history. In the wake of Gutenberg's groundbreaking printing press, Europe witnessed an unprecedented proliferation of printed copies from millions to billions that disseminated knowledge and ideas like never before. However, it wasn't just weighty tomes that emerged from the presses, a new form of communication took center stage, the pamphlet. These concise booklets, brimming with entertainment, persuasion and information, played a vital role in shaping public opinion. Pamphlets, the dynamic mass mediums of 16th century, captured the pulse of society, offering insights into current affairs, news and commentary across Europe. These versatile publications ignited religious and political debates, chronicled military triumphs and defeats, and delved into the intrigues of royal houses, with diverse styles ranging from serious discourse to uproarious humor. Pamphlets catered to a broad readership, from the learned to those with limited reading skills. As the first newspapers emerged in the 16th century Venice, a new avenue for communication arose. Yet newspapers initially served the elites, focusing on foreign political news and boasting a very limited readership. Pamphlets, on the other hand, championed domestic and local news, reaching a wider audience. They were often read aloud in bustling marketplaces and taverns, becoming a communal experience for those who couldn't read. Illustrations and captivating covers amplified their popularity, turning every newsworthy event or crisis into canvas for pamphleteers. The aftermath of the 80 years war saw a torrent of pamphlets when the Dutch Republic faced simultaneous attacks from France in 1672, a virulent pamphlet campaign falsely implicating two prominent politicians ultimately leading to their public execution. This grim episode exposed the potent power of mass communication, revealing the sway of public opinion and the formidable influence of the pamphlet press. Another horrific event from history was the St. Bartholomew's Day Massacre which took place in Paris, 1572. In the wake of the massacre, a pamphlet war erupted between Catholics and Protestants. Both sides used pamphlets to spread propaganda and to vilify the other side. The pamphlet war was a major factor in the escalation of religious tension in France and helped to pave the way for the Thirty Years' War. The massacre of Paris by John Stubbs was another example. This pamphlet was written by an English Protestant and is one of the most famous accounts of the massacre. Stubbs argues that the massacre was a Catholic plot to exterminate the Protestants and call for revenge. Another example is the true relation of the late massacre in France by François de Lanneau in 1573. This pamphlet was written by a French Protestant and is one of the most detailed accounts of the massacre. Leno provides eyewitness testimony and eyewitness accounts of the massacre. Another example is the English Civil War. Pamphlets were used by both sides to spread propaganda and to mobilize the support for their cause. The pamphlet war was a major factor in the polarization of English society and helped to contribute to the outbreak of the Civil War. Econ Basilic by Charles Vaughan in 1649 is another example. This pamphlet is a posthumous work by Charles Vaughan, who was executed by the parliament in 1649. This pamphlet is a mediation on the king's death and is full of royalist propaganda. Killing No Murder by John Milton in 1651 is another example. This pamphlet is a defense of regicide, arguing that it is justified to kill a tyrant. 
Milton's pamphlet was a major influence on the development of republican thought. So guided by political prowess, scholars like Niccolo Machiavelli ventured into the realm of mass communication, weaving together elements from antiquity with novel ideas. Their exploration laid the foundation for a modern communication science, one that recognized the profound impact of media on political dynamics and societal transformation. As we journey through the corridors of early modern times, we uncover a tapestry woven with pamphlets, newspapers, and potent debates that shape the course of nations. Join me in this reviting exploration where the echoes of history's communication revolutions continue to resonate in our modern world.